Today I'm going to show you guys how to do how to downgrade your iPhone. How to use Cool Boo or Untethered. So let's go ahead and get into this. So, so this works on the iPhone 4, 4S, 5, or, 5, or 5C, I think, too. Or else you can use an iPad 2, 3, 4, Mini 1, or else an iPod Touch 5. So what you need, first of all, is to be joke broken on running iOS 8.4.1 or below. And I know I tried to do this, but tutorial the first time but failed so now I'm going to try again to do this. So first things first you need to go into Cydia. Obviously hit return to Cydia. Click edit. Add. And you want to type in cool booter cool booter not cool booty dot com they want to go into cool booter and then you want to go into system and you want to install cool booter first of all And I'll get back to you once that is yeah. done on your home screen called Coolbooter. So just go ahead and click open. Click and install or wait. You actually want to close out of Coolbooter. Because you want to actually do something. Is that you actually want to go ahead and go into downgrade. Because it doesn't seem to work very well for some reason. You want to go 1.4.1. Release because the latest version of Cool Bear don't seem to be too stable, so you want to go to an older one for this. And I'll get back to you once this is all done. Hit return to Cydia, and from there you can go back into Cool Bear. And unless you have any important data on your device, which I'm going to assume you don't, you can just go ahead and do whatever you want. So I'm going to go. So I'm going to go 6.1.3 in this case to get back to the way it was because I was going to try to do a tutorial on how to downgrade, but that didn't work so well. So I'm just going to do this instead. Click on ready. Uh, no, I do not want a custom boot logo. No, I do not want verbose boot. Yes, I do want to jailbreak the other OS. And I will go ahead and download this from Apple and all that. This and I will get back to you once that is done. So this message, don't don't worry if it comes up as you saying that your device storage is almost full of pro That's normal, but you want to go ahead and just click the reboot thing there and it will go ahead and reboot your phone. And I'll be back or our device and I'll be back to you once this is done. Successfully reboot, you need to go ahead and go into uh, You don't actually want to go into Cool Booter just yet. You actually want to hop back into Cydia. Yes, I'm very well aware that my store phone storage is almost full. Go into sources. System. And then you want to go ahead and install Cool Boot Untever. Now I'll get back to you once okay, you're done. You need to press the restart springboard button. Which will go ahead and respring your phone. Okay, and once you've gotten that done, you need to go back into Cool Booter, click Boot. Obviously, lock your device. And it should start booting any second now. And now we're talking. So I'll get back to you once this is done. If you've gotten done with all that, you should go ahead and be just just okay. Go ahead and set it up and everything. And for some weird reason, the Foes app <laughs> icon is not visible. I'm not sure why it is. 
but I'm running iOS 6 now, so just to show you this is untethered. I will go ahead and slide to power it off. Now we'll go ahead and power it back on. And it should revert back to the iOS 6 Apple logo in a second. I think it should revert back to the iOS 6 Apple logo in a little second or two. So just give it time. Well, I'm not sure what's exactly happening. And there we know. I have no idea what is happening with Okay, now I think it's loading. It's doing something. And there we go. Now we finally have the iOS 6 app logo. So it's not fully. So it Takes a while, but you will be getting there, sure enough. I know it can be kind of hard to see that, but you can see a little slice there. And so let's wait a second. Yeah. And there we go. Now we have the regular photos app again. I'm not sure what happened. And so if you want to get back to the normal system, I'll just go ahead and power it off again, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. And then what you wanna go ahead and do with this is you wanna go ahead, if you wanna get back to your main OS, what you do is you hold the power button and the volume up button at the same time, so. And just keep holding the volume up button. And you should eventually just boot right into iOS 8. Volume up button is really hard to press. Or it's really hard to hold. Somebody's looking for, somebody in my house is looking for their device, for one of their devices. And there we go, we are back on iOS 8 as you can see, so. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and please leave a like if you like this video, and please, Please subscribe to my channel if you want to do so. And if you have any questions, please comment them down below. And I'm trying to reach 300 subscribers before Christmas. And I've decided, and just in some important channel updates, I've decided to revert my living with every single iOS change, my living with every single iOS version thing that I know I was said I was going to do after Christmas. I decided that since next year is the 15 year anniversary of iOS that so would kick that off of iOS 1 on the anniversary week. But so if I get to 300 subscribers before Christmas, I will switch to Android for a week. Again, like I said, I was going to do if I reach 300 subscribers before Thanksgiving. So thank you all for watching this video and thank you all for sticking to the end. And as always, peace out.